everyone, my name is Zona. I'm a physical therapist from Orange County, California, and you're watching my channel, Zona Physical Therapy. Today, I am going to, to discuss about how you could protect yourself from coronavirus with simple strategy and precaution that you could apply to yourself and let your friends know about it and family just so we can contain and prevent it from spreading. I hope you stay tuned up to the very end of my video so you could learn and help this and help fight this virus. I created this channel to help you improve your health to live a good life. So first thing you have to remember is that if you are out in the public with a lot of people and you feel that you are um, going to be in contact within a close range or even less than a meter, that's what they are requiring right now for what the quarantine is happening people cannot be within one meter to each other so if you're going to a public place right now it's better that you wear a mask I have a couple masks to show you that is inexpensive that you could get from Amazon I've seen that a lot of masks right now has gone up you know, on prices which shouldn't be happening because um, I just don't agree with it uh, I think but the economics you know it's always that if the demand is high the prices go up but then there are other ways uh, you could uh, protect yourself by just getting a simple mask a cheaper mask like this it also comes with like a, a metal part in here so usually the white side of the mask is what goes in your face and then the blue one is uh, for the outside this is not a very not the very best mask to have but it's better than nothing and besides in america right now the virus hasn't spread or anything this is just to protect you from all the virus or germs even the flu flu it's a flu season right now and every year there's thousands of americans that die with the flu so it's actually more dangerous right now than the actual coronavirus if you really think about the statistics now i also picked up another mask from amazon it's like a hoodie it's a hoodie and uh, you could put it like inside your head like this it kind of look like a criminal but <laughs> we're gonna out to, to rob the bank but I mean, I don't really care if uh, I'll be going out to the mall or anywhere to protect myself. It doesn't matter how I look like. But this thing is actually, I don't recommend it to wear by itself. It's just because uh, a lot of moisture, a lot of moisture can build up and then that means you are attracting the bacteria. So I recommend that you Put this on first and then you can put this over it and that's just the cheapest way to to protect yourself right now because all the other masks the they're selling the one that most healthcare professional use which is actually very uh, good protection however the price is uh, really high it's just uh, for America right now, I don't think we need that. This is just a simple precautions uh, when you're going out there. So uh, try to uh, save you money. Um, of course, you gotta if if you're really in a situation where you you are exposed to to like you know you're in China or wherever part of the world, and you ha and it's. Uh, a red zone for having this virus then of course you need that mask that actually seal your skin almost so that's that's the best mask to use if you're in that uh, highly populated area where the risk is high um, next thing you want to do is always next thing you want to do is always bring hand sanitizer with you uh, there's a lot of uh, gel or hand sanitizer that's been 
sold or that's it it's, that's available in the market and some of their kind of like jelly more texture but over the years I have been always just using a simple alcohol anyway they require you to have at least 60% or 70% or higher concentration of alcohol for it to be effectively cleaning your hands so for me the cheapest way which I've been doing since I'm in in medical school is that I just get uh, any any container of my cosmetic I don't want to show the brand here but it's, a, it's just a small container of uh, any cosmetic uh, sp spray that looks like this and you could because usually when you buy this alcohol it comes in a bigger uh, pa package so you want to put a little bit and carry it with you every day one way also is that if you live in a warm if you live in a warmer tropical or humid environment there's less likely for the virus to 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 grow so going out to the beach if you have that opportunity right now being out in the beach out in an open air fresh air it's it's the best thing so I feel really sad for the ones that is quarantined inside the the ship because the humidity there is because it's it's quite cold and and the risk of the virus growing is uh, quite high compared to if you're in a warmer weather the next important thing you need to do is always wash your hands even bring uh, soap with you in your purse all day long because you never know some public areas public restroom doesn't have soap when you use the restroom and uh, it's just better to always carry a, a soap with you this is actually better than using a hand sanitizer so hand sanitizer is just another uh, backup in case there's no water around you but of course for me i'd like to use both so after I wash my hands i also do my sanitizer and you have to remember when you're washing your hands you can't just wash very quickly so the one way of knowing that you really wash your hands with a good amount of time is <laughs> you can sing happy birthday twice <laughs> So you do happy birthday to you so you do that twice sing with sing happy birthday while washing your hands and uh, i think that that would be uh, good enough 10 seconds or so the next thing is if you're meeting with your friends or people do not hug and kiss them so kissing right now or hugging anyone is also a no-no i won't recommend it shaking hands is also another thing because you just never know because this virus i heard is that if if the person that is sick with the virus this coronavirus and they sneeze on an object and the there's a, there has not been a study yet where how long the virus could be alive but i have done some research and i heard i have done some research and if the saliva from your sneezing if you're contaminated with the virus and it touches any surface and then you go and touch your hands with it and then shake other people's hand it is possible that you could spread the virus if you touch it directly on your face so eating and bringing it down to your stomach i heard from my research is not gonna hurt you not gonna contaminate you but the reason why you also need to wear a mask is because the mask even if it's a cheap mask or something that can't really protect you a hundred percent from transmitting the virus airborne well at least it will pre prevent you from touching your face so uh, it's there to remind you not to touch your face especially if you had just shaken someone's hand another thing I don't agree why this is very universal with everybody is when we sneeze people say oh you need to sneeze on your elbow so guys sneeze on your elbow and then what all the germs are there virus and then you go walk around 
in the public and you go hit other people's elbow so you're spreading the germs everywhere I don't know I'm really thinking very in a, in a microscope I I really get down to the nitty-gritty that's just I don't know if I'm obsessive compulsive with germs but that's how that's just how I observe um, people and uh, I'm just a very observant person now the best thing is if you sneeze I guess one way because it is your own bacteria if you really don't have a Kleenex with you is that you could sneeze inside like right here so sneeze in your own outfit okay so that way you really can't spread it uh, you can't spread your germs as much unless you really hug the person okay so uh, so then bring a Kleenex with you wherever you go so these are essentials you gotta have Kleenex you gotta have the hand sanitizer soap and mask and then a little hoodie that you can get from Amazon for like nine dollars ten dollars there's so many of them just go and check Amazon you you'll see these hoodies I will put the link down below on the hoodie that I just bought from Amazon and the mask where you could uh, get it I'm finding you a uh, less expensive ways to deal with this so this is Zona physical therapist from Orange County California I am here to help you improve your health to live a good life